Greetings, I'm Dr. David Gersten. In this video, I will explore what many doctors and scientists believe is the most important health discovery in the last 50 years, and that is earthing. This video will focus on the role of earthing in alleviating inflammation. Earthing involves direct skin contact with the Earth's surface, such as walking barefoot or using indoor grounding systems while sleeping or sitting. A conductive grounding system transfers the Earth's electrons from the ground into the body. Earthing, also known as grounding, allows people to directly connect their body with the Earth and use its natural electric charge to stabilize their own bioelectrical fields. It's usually easy to walk barefoot, but during the winter or rainy seasons, getting barefoot contact can be challenging. That's one reason that products were created that allow a person to be grounded while inside their home or office while they sleep or sit in a chair. There are dozens of benefits of earthing. Here are five of the most important benefits. Number one, earthing decreases inflammation, thereby improving inflammatory illnesses. Two, earthing decreases stress. Three, it improves sleep. Four, it improves energy and vitality. Five, in addition, earthing creates a stable internal bioelectrical environment for the normal functioning of all body systems. Earthing stabilizes the electrical environment of all organs, tissues, and cells. This video focuses mainly on the role of earthing in decreasing inflammation. Lack of barefoot contact with the earth is the main cause of the epidemic of inflammation. Synthetic rubber was invented in the late 1950s. By 1960, the soles of our shoes were no longer leather. Leather soles are conductive to the earth. By 1960, we all began wearing shoes with synthetic rubber soles, which disconnected us from the earth's bioelectrical field. 10 years later, by 1970, doctors were treating a new set of problems, namely lupus, MS, and arthritis. These are inflammatory diseases. Clint Ober discovered earthing and created products to connect us to the earth. So what is inflammation? Let's say that you cut yourself. Here's what doctors are taught. Blood vessels in the area of the cut dilate. The area becomes warm, red, swollen, and tender. White blood cells arrive and gobble up the bacteria, parasites, and yeast. Here is the problem with that theory. When you cut yourself, there will often be bacteria that get into that wound. Bacteria multiply rapidly. By the end of one day, you could have millions of bacteria in that cut. But the white blood cells involved in inflammation multiply once every 90 days. The math doesn't add up. Earthing is probably the most powerful anti-inflammatory that exists. But what is inflammation? It's not about white blood cells gobbling up the bad stuff. Neutrophils, a kind of white blood cell, create free radicals, which are positively charged molecules that rip electrons from living tissue. With inflammation, neutrophils spray the area with free radicals in an unmeasured fashion like a machine gun. These free radicals kill bacteria, parasites, yeast, and viruses. If you have internal inflammation like arthritis, your immune system is constantly spraying free radicals at bones and joints, ripping one electron at a time from healthy tissue. Over the years, our joints develop structural damage, bad enough that we can see it on an x-ray. I recommended earthing for six people with osteoarthritis. All of them had their arthritis pain drop by 75 to 85 percent in four to seven days. That includes a 95-year-old woman who had been dealing with severe osteoarthritis for 35 years. Thermography, which is thermal or heat imaging, is one way to detect inflammation. 
Hot inflamed tissue appears red with thermography. The border of the inflammation appears yellow. Blue and green are cooler temperatures that reflect normal body tissue. The graphics you are looking at are thermographic images from a 33-year-old woman who, who sustained a right knee injury during gymnastics when she was 15 years old. She had a long history of right knee pain, swelling, and instability. Intermittent medical treatment through the years had not made much of a difference. The former gymnast had a hard time with basic daily tasks. The upper left image shows redness of her right knee and most of her pelvis. These areas were inflamed. The image in the upper right was taken 30 minutes after grounding with an electrode patch. She experienced a mild reduction in pain. The image in the lower left was taken after six days of earthing. Her pain had decreased by 50%. Virtually all the red color is gone from her right knee. The image on the lower right was taken after four weeks of grounding. The right knee and thigh are entirely blue and green. There's no inflammation there. 50% of the inflammation in her pelvis is gone. At this point, she was able to play soccer and could water ski. By 12 weeks, the pain had decreased by 90%. Six months after she began grounding, she completed a half marathon. What does the Earth's bioelectrical field have to do with inflammation? There are two aspects of the Earth's bioelectrical field. The Earth is covered with a layer of free electrons. When we walk barefoot on the Earth, billions of electrons enter our body every second. In about 30 minutes, our body is fully charged with free electrons. That's our natural state. Every minute spent in barefoot contact with the Earth is beneficial. Barefoot contact with the beach, ocean, sand, grass, rocks, dirt, and some forms of concrete will ground you. In addition, there are earthing products that we can sleep on or put under our feet at our computer desk. Whether a person has heart disease, arthritis, autism, type 2 diabetes, multiple sclerosis, or any illness that ends in the letters I-T-I-S, or itis, the underlying mechanism is the same. 80 chronic diseases are known to be caused by inflammation. Some illnesses that end in the letters I-T-I-S, or itis, are arthritis, bursitis, dermatitis, encephalitis, gastroenteritis, hepatitis, meningitis, nephritis, tendonitis, and vasculitis. Itis means inflammatory disease. Now, let's look at the difference between oxidative stress and inflammation. Everyone has heard of oxidative stress and the antioxidant foods and supplements we take to decrease oxidative stress. But what is it? Oxidative stress is the production of huge numbers of free radicals which are positively charged molecules created as a byproduct of normal biochemistry. Every day, our energy factories, the mitochondria in our 50 trillion cells, produce 10 billion free radicals in the normal production of ATP, which is the molecule of energy. Multiply 10 billion times 50 trillion cells, and you get the number of free radicals produced every day in normal biochemistry. What do those free radicals do? They do the same thing as the free radicals produced by inflammation. They rip electrons from healthy tissue. First, free radicals rip electrons from mitochondria, then from a cell's interior. The remaining free radicals travel throughout the body. While the production of free radicals and the production of ATP is the main cause of oxidative stress, there are other causes. They include obesity, diets high in sugar, cigarette smoking, drinking alcohol, and a wide variety of toxins. Earthing can neutralize those free radicals. The second aspect of the Earth's bioelectrical field is the Earth's pulse, which is about 10 hertz. 
That's like a drum beating about 10 times per second. These earth rhythms are called the Schumann resonance or the Schumann resonances. The first scientific study on earthing was an adrenal stress test. An adrenal stress test measures cortisol levels four times in one day. These are saliva collections. There is a normal pattern to a healthy adrenal stress test. In this graphic, the normal range is green. The black line running through the green area indicates that the four collections were all in the normal range. At the beginning of the study, few people had a normal adrenal stress test. But after eight weeks of earthing, virtually every subject in the study had a normal adrenal stress test. Earthing normalizes the pituitary adrenal axis, which decreases stress and anxiety and improves sleep. In our natural state, in a tribal setting, people are barefoot 24 hours a day, which means that everyone has the same bioelectrical field. Everyone wakes up at the same time, eats at the same time, and goes to sleep at the same time. Their energy rises and falls at the same time. It's not clear to me if the Earth's pulse is responsible for normalizing the stress response, but it is known the earthing helps reset our autonomic nervous system, decreasing sympathetic nervous system fight or flight activity and increasing parasympathetic nervous system activity, which is calming. Too much fight or flight activity causes stress, anxiety, and panic attacks. Too much fight or flight activity is the cause of panic attacks. Mother Earth is the master clock for all of our biological clocks. Here is one way you can test out earthing, especially if you have any pain or discomfort. Before you take off your shoes and socks, observe your pain. How bad is it on a scale of zero to 10? Spend 30 minutes sitting or walking on the beach or grass. Then check your pain level again. It's highly likely that the pain level will have decreased. Our body is made up of electrons, which are mostly space. Electrons, which travel around the nucleus of an atom, have a negative charge. Protons, which are in the nucleus of an atom, have a positive charge. An atom has a balance of negative and positive charges. Numerous technologies exist that measure bioelectrical activity. An EKG, electrocardiogram, measures electrical activity of the heart. An EEG, electroencephalogram, measures electrical activity of the brain. An EMG, electromyography, measures electrical activity of muscles. A nerve conduction study measures electrical activity of nerves. Everywhere we look in the body, we find bioelectrical activity. Heart disease and stroke are caused by inflammation. Doctors are taught that a heart attack occurs when too much plaque builds up on an artery wall. That's not quite correct. Inflammation is the cause of cardiovascular disease and stroke. Free radicals created by inflammation and oxidative stress run through our blood, ripping electrons from the endothelium, which is the inner lining of the artery wall. Over years and decades, those tiny rips in the artery wall turn into longer tears in the artery wall. Bacteria, other pathogens, and dead tissue slip under those tears, making the area start to bulge. Let's say you have one or more of these large tears in a coronary artery. As debris builds up under those tears, pressure builds up in that area until suddenly the dam bursts and all the contents of that tear suddenly burst out, instantly clogging a coronary artery. Then our clotting system, including platelets, arrives, and that coronary artery is closed. That person just had a heart attack or myocardial infarction. What doctors are taught is that the debris which builds up on an artery wall causes the artery to slowly narrow more and more until the artery slowly closes. That theory has not been proven. 
Earthing dramatically decreases any kind of inflammation, although different diseases take a different period of time for healing to occur. And the longer a person has had any health issue, the longer it takes to recover. I believe that earthing is likely to decrease the number of strokes and heart attacks. Let's take a look at six of the top 10 leading causes of death in America that involve inflammation. Number one, heart attack and cardiovascular disease are inflammatory. Two, metastasis of cancer accounts for 90% of cancer deaths. Metastasis is caused by inflammation. Number three, stroke. Number four, Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease has complex causes that include inflammation. Five, type two diabetes. And number six, kidney disease, which is often inflammatory. Let me say a few words about cancer metastasis. Numerous scientific studies have shown that inflammation is what causes an in situ cancer to metastasize. Some in situ cancers are breast cancer, prostate cancer, and colon cancer. Inflammation is not involved in blood or lymph cancers like leukemia and lymphoma. I am not saying that earthing is a treatment for cancer. I am saying that earthing won't hurt and that according to the science, reducing inflammation should reduce the rate of metastasis. Where does the Earth's layer of free electrons come from? Every day, there are 50 to 100 lightning strikes every second. What is lightning? It is a blast of a million trillion electrons. Lightning travels at 270,000 miles per hour. A lightning strike will cover the Earth with free electrons nearly instantly. Lightning is the main reason that the Earth is covered with a thin layer of free electrons. Lightning gives rise to the layer of free electrons covering the Earth. But what causes lightning? Let's start with the sun. Its solar winds send charged particles toward the Earth. Most of these charged particles are photons, which are tiny packets of energy that have no mass. The sun's photons interact with an outer layer of Earth's atmosphere called the ionosphere, which is a shell of electrons and electrically charged atoms and molecules that surrounds the Earth. The ionosphere is 50 to 375 miles above the Earth. Molecules in the ionosphere become charged by the sun's photons, and that charge is transferred to thunderclouds. Positive charges travel to the top of a thundercloud, and negative charges travel to the bottom part of a thundercloud. The next step is rather complex, so here is the abbreviated version. When a thunderstorm is directly overhead, the strong negative charge in the bottom of the thundercloud repels negative charges on the ground. That causes the ground beneath the cloud to become temporarily positively charged. When the electrical charge difference between the bottom of a cloud and the Earth's surface is great enough, lightning strikes the Earth, discharging gigantic numbers of free electrons. To summarize what I've covered so far, the energy and charge of photons from the sun ultimately leads to lightning strikes, which create the thin layer of free electrons that covers the Earth. Those free electrons are essential for decreasing inflammation. There are five ingredients we need for health and longevity. Number one is a controlled body temperature. Number two, oxygen from clean air. Three is water. Four is food. And five is earthing. Earthing is the fifth ingredient for health and longevity. We're now looking at the image of a pregnant woman resting on the ground against a tree. How does her fetus get its nutrition, oxygen, and free electrons? Those free electrons come from mom. But how does mom get a controlled body temperature, oxygen, water, food, and free electrons? In this image, she's breathing fresh air, 
while resting against a tree next to clean water. The tree that is draping its leaves and branches near her represents the fact that all of our food comes from the earth. She is receiving earth's free electrons from the tree and from the earth. A pregnant woman is providing free electrons to her fetus. But if she is not in prolonged earth contact, she will develop an electron deficit. So she must receive all of the five requirements for life from nature. Mother Nature provides everything that all life forms require. I'm sharing these details because modern society has created air that is polluted, food that lacks nutrients and that has chemical additives, water that is loaded with toxins, and shoes with synthetic rubber soles that have caused a complete disconnection from the Earth's bioelectrical field. Modern society and medicine have lost sight of the fact that we are not just dependent on Mother Nature, we are part of nature. We need all these five conditions to remain healthy. How can a healthcare system that relies almost entirely on prescribing a synthetic drug keep us healthy? In our journey today, we have traveled from the sun to the earth. We are made up entirely of atoms, which are electrical. Every atom has its own electrical field. Every process in our body, which keeps us alive and healthy, involves bioelectrical fields. And the human body creates its own bioelectrical field. We are all exposed to unhealthy electromagnetic fields, or EMF, from Wi-Fi, 5G, microwaves, Bluetooth, and electricity in our homes. These man-made electromagnetic fields throw our human bioelectrical fields out of balance. Earthing restores our natural bioelectrical field and neutralizes all or part of the EMF we are exposed to. Your insomnia, stress, anxiety, and inflammatory disease are caused at least in part by inflammation. Inflammation is mainly caused by a disconnection from the Earth's bioelectrical field. And that disconnection was caused by shoes with synthetic rubber soles. Here is a list of earthing benefits. Number one, earthing improves sleep. Two, it reduces stress. Three, it reduces inflammation. Four, it reduces pain. Five, earthing increases energy and vitality. Six, it decreases stress and anxiety. Seven, earthing shifts the autonomic nervous system from sympathetic fight or flight activity towards parasympathetic nervous system activity, which is calming. Eight, Earthing creates a stable internal bioelectrical environment for the normal functioning of all bodily systems and all internal organs. Earthing stabilizes the electrical environment of all organs, tissues, and cells. Nine, earthing significantly influences the electrical activity of the brain and it increases levels of the neurotransmitter serotonin in the brain. 10. Earthing improves cortisol rhythm. 11. It reduces blood viscosity. 12. It improves circulation. 13. It improves mood. And 14. Earthing improves wound healing. The benefits I've just mentioned have been confirmed by scientific studies. If you just grasp the role of earthing in decreasing inflammation, that will be enough. Science has determined that 80 chronic illnesses are caused by inflammation. Now that you know about earthing and its role in decreasing inflammation, please get your bare feet onto the earth daily for as long as you can. There is no such thing as too much earthing. Check out the earthing movie starring Muriel Hemingway. Below this video, you will find links about earthing, including a link to scientific research. Thank you for watching and listening. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. 
Feel free to share your thoughts, questions, and earthing experiences in the comments. Have a great day. Thank you.